my mother. I said, Wendy, uh, I give her that scripture. We walk right by sight, but by faith. She said, what do you mean? I said, well, over there in the book of Luke, where uh, the disciples was telling Thomas that they seen the Lord. And Thomas said, I ain't going to believe it until I can touch his hands. Listen to him. Until I can put my hands in his hands and put my hands well, in, in his feet and, 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 and the side. I ain't going to believe it until I can see it. And then Jesus came in there and said, Thomas, touch my hand, see? And touch my side. He said, see in his eye, didn't he? Yeah. He said, the spirit helped my what? Flesh and bone. This is me. In my resurrected body. It's me. And that's what that's where your mom is. I said, she's got a resurrected body. And I said, God, he's God of the living, not of the dead. And I said, if she was dead, she wouldn't have a, a resurrected body. She would, you, you wouldn't be able to, you know, like Jesus said, he's the first to be resurrected. And he was an example of those that died in the faith. And how they have that same body where well, you can touch. That's right. He was able to eat too, wasn't he? <laughs> With that same body. Walk, walk right in. Come to the door. Come to the wall. Whichever way you wanted to. That's where your mom have got that same kind of resurrected body. And all the rest of them, Sister Beverly. And all the rest of them. I was telling uh, LJ. I said, your mama have got that same resurrected body, LJ. But I said, if you make it to heaven, she'll recognize, she'll know you. But I said, if you don't make it to heaven, God will take the remembrance of you ever existing from her. It's like us. You got families, and uh, they don't make it to heaven. Heaven ain't going to be as pleasant if you know you got children or family members that didn't make it. And that, that'd be torment to your mind. So God will wipe away them tears by removing the Remembrance of them. Amen. And I told him, I said, LJ, I said, y'all, if you don't make it, you'll be down there and, and, and everything you'll be thinking about, I had a chance. I could have made it. And you'll be thinking about your mama up there, you'll never see her again. You'll be thinking about others, you'll never see her again. But I said, they'll never know you even existed. <laughs> Ain't that saying? They'll never know you even existed. But in hell, you'll know everybody that um, you ever come in contact with that, that tried to witness to you or that tried to tell you to get saved. You'll know them because you'll be down there and, and, and your senses will become enhanced and you'll remember everything that, that, that went on while you was on the earth. See, not like now. Now you, have, you can forget 80% of everything. 90%. But in hell, you remember every minute, every second, every moment of everything that you've ever done while you was on this earth. And every chance you had to get right, you remember it. And that's what's going to haunt you. More than anything else, you had a chance, but you messed it up. Well, I tell you, I'm, I'm telling you, you better warn your families. You better warn your children and, and your teenagers. You better warn them. Young man, drop dead today, taking this, um, uh, what's the name of this thing that's out there now, killing folks? Fentanyl. Yeah. Some of y'all know him. Drop dead today. One of uh, my grandson's friends. Both my grandsons know him. Some of y'all know him too. Dante's brother. Huh? He was Dante's brother too. Dante's brother. Mm -hmm. Newman. Dante's brother. 
Who? He was Dante's brother. He was Dante's brother. Mm -hmm. Dante who? Dante Harris. Oh, really? Sister Earlene's son. Yeah. Man, it's sad. Dante Harris, brother. It's fit now. I'm talking about people that I heard a few weeks ago that it was so that they, they found somebody right here in the Joplin area that had enough fentanyl to kill every man, woman, girl, and boy within the Joplin area. And I heard they got enough of them right here in this in this country to kill every. What happened? It is China. China is uh, trying to kill us. Kill us off through the sick fentanyl. And you got that vice president up there lying, saying we got the border under control and over two and a half million people that are accounted for that have come across that border. Probably three or probably five million come across that border. How can she get up there with a straight face and tell such a lie? How can the president get up and say our economy is getting better when just today the stock market dropped uh, over 1,200 points. Yeah. And he, right, right while he's up there talking. Yeah. We, we are America. Jesus. You can tell God's grace lifting from this country. God's mercy lifting from this country. If people don't wake up. That strong delusion. I mean, they, they can look at you so bold and tell you a lie right in front of your face. That not bad an eye, but they're lying to you. Anyway, I wouldn't plan on going that way. But God's people need to really get a hold of God. We really need to get a hold of God. Amen. I want you to turn with me. Thank you, Jesus. Turn me to the book of Matthew. I don't know how far I'm going to go into this, but I give it enough to uh, uh, help us out here tonight. Matthew chapter 17. And uh, start reading them. One of y'all get your microphones together. Matthew chapter 17 and uh, verse 1. Start reading it. Matthew 17 and verse 1, please. And after six days, Jesus taking Peter and James and John, his brother, and bringing them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And was transfigured, changed. Before them, uh huh. And his face did shine as the sun. Look at that. And his face did shine as the sun. Y'all remember what I, that scripture that I quoted to you? Um, Isaiah 30 and verse 26, sevenfold, brighter than the sun. Remember? Jesus, trans listen to this carefully now. Jesus transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun. Man, that's pretty powerful, isn't it? And his raiment was white as the light. Something that was coming out of Jesus. It wasn't something coming from heaven. This was something that was coming from within. Right. Right. Go ahead. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias. There appeared unto them Moses and Elijah. Talking with him. Talking with him. Then they answered Peter and said unto Jesus. Yes. Lord, it is good for us to be here. It's good for us to be here. If thou will, let us make here three tabernacles. One for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias. Let's start three organizations here. <laughs> three denominations here. One for thee and one for Moses. One for Elijah. Go ahead. And while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. While he yet spake, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, 
in whom I am well pleased. Hear you him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Saw this vision of Jesus transfigured right before them. It wasn't something that fell out of heaven and transformed him. This was something that come from within. This was a light brighter than the sun that came from within. This was something that came from within that caused his clothes to be white. My, oh my. And you can read that again in Mark chapter 9 and in Luke chapter 9. They all give the same testimony. Now listen, I want you to turn with me to Proverbs 20 and verse 27. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 27. One of y'all got that? Read it if you got it. The spirit of man. Now listen carefully. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Y'all believe that? Yes, Go ahead. Searching all the inward parts. Searching all the inward parts. Of the belly. Of the belly. See, the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. How many of y'all would love to have what was inside of Jesus on Mount Transfiguration? Have, how, how many would love to have that same uh, light in you? That same Brightness in you. Something in you. Transfiguring. Transforming you. Where you become brighter than the sun. He said, where I am. There you may be also. Read that verse again. The spirit of man. The spirit of man. Is the candle of the Lord. Is the candle of the Lord. Searching all the inward parts. Searching all the inward parts. Of the belly. Of the belly. See, when you get saved, then God lights up that candle. Yes, sir. He lights up that spirit. The moment you get saved, he put that light inside of your spirit. That's what was in Jesus. God lit his candle. And that's why that, that transformation came from within. Because God had entered inside of him and he had the light of God inside of him. Yes, sir. Yes, that's right. Didn't he? The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Now, we get saved. When you got saved, God lit your candle. Yes, when you got saved, God Trans he put a light inside of you. You become a, a new creature. And as you begin to grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, that light is supposed to become brighter. That light is supposed to come to a place where you will be transfigured like Jesus on that mountain. Huh? He said, I'm the light of the world. Then he said, now you are the light of the world. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And it all depends. Somebody get that light in them, and man, they live for God for 40 years, and that light never increased. That light never grows. It's in a light of mine. Well, that light should be illuminating us. It should be a little light. It should be a light that's uh, 
that that overtake us like it did Jesus. Yes. They didn't see some of them light. Yes. They saw man transfigured yes. to the light, bright as the sun. Yes. Some of us still got this little light because we never prayed with it. We never, it never increases. That light is supposed to increase. That light is supposed to grow. That light inside of you is supposed to reflect the very life, nature, power of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. And it's something that people live for 50 years, and that, I mean, serve God for 50 years, and that light never grows. That light that He lit up their spirit with have never increased. God wants that light to increase. Yes. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body unto God a living sacrifice. Yes. If that light is to increase. Holy, holy, yes. holy, yes. and acceptable unto God. People don't like that word holy no more. Mm. People get a feeling at that word. Because they want to do their own thing, live their own life. They don't want to separate themselves from the world. And they figure when somebody uses that word holy, they want to just put up a shield. Mm -hmm. I'm holy, be you holy, for I am holy. Yes. Yes. We don't do away with holiness, living holy, separating ourselves from sin, from the world, from the wicked, coming out from among them, because that light in us cannot shine as long as it's been obscured by all this flesh. God wants that light to shine in the midst of a crooked and a perverse generation. This is why the writer said he must increase. That light must increase. I must decrease. That light only can increase when we are dedicating ourselves. When we are praying. When the word of God is growing in us. When we are drawing light to him. And he's drawing light to us. That light is increasing. Yes. But if that light is not increasing in this dark generation, something wrong. That light grew in Jesus to the point where it engulfed him, overtook him. Is that light growing in you? Is that light illuminating you to the world? Is that light in you shining in the midst of all this darkness? Mm. Are you taking it and hiding it under a bushel somewhere? Is that what the scripture says? Yes. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14 through 16. Read that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You see that? He came in you and saved you and lit your candle. And now that candle is supposed to shine in this dark world and become a light to this world. Come on. A city that is set on a hill. A city that is set upon a hill which cannot be moved. Uh huh. Neither do man light a candle. Man don't light a candle. And put it under a bushel. And put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick. But on a candlestick. They give it light unto all that are in the house. They give it light to everybody that's in class, in school, on the job, in the house, at Walmart. That light is supposed to be burning, shining radiating out of us in the midst of all this darkness. Light is supposed to be shining out of us. Let your light so shine before me. Let your light so shine before me. They may see your good works. They may see your good works. Glorify your Father which is in heaven. Glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. I, let, let me just read this one here. Second Corinthians 3 and 18. So we're supposed to come into that transformation that we saw Jesus come into at Mount Transfiguration. That light should be growing in us. 
That light should be engulfed in us. Swallowing us up. Immorality, immortality. Swallowed up in life. Read that. Go ahead. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. But we all. But we all. With open listen. But we all. Uh huh. With open faces. With open faces. Behold it as in a glass. Behold it as in a glass. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Are changed into the same image. Are changed. Look at that. There it is. Are changed into the same image. What image? The image that uh, uh, that these three men saw on Mount Transfiguration. Changed into the same image. Uh huh. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. Ain't that something? Yes. Yes. As he is, so are we in this world. Y'all with me? Amen. My God, we need to. That light needs to get stronger. That light needs to increase. And then we'll stop saying this little light of mine. We'll be saying this Holy Ghost light of mine. Right. This Jesus light of mine. Take it, hide it under the bush of no. Read that again, 2 Corinthians 3 and 18. But we all, but we all, with open faces, with open faces, beholding as in a glass, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, a change, a change. Wait a minute. Now you know Moses, he went on, map, on that mountain and he received those Ten Commandments. Did he? And he brought them back to the children of Israel. When he come out of the over that mountain, come to them clouds, his face was so illuminated. They had to hide his face while he gave them the uh, law. They had to hide his face until he got through giving them the law. And then when he got through giving them the law, then you know. His face was so bright. That was the, under the old covenant. Wasn't it? That was just uh, the type and the shadow of what Jesus brought to us. But yet under the type and shadow of the Moses, the light was so bright on his face until they had to hide his face. The people couldn't stand to look at on Moses' face. Hallelujah. And let's uh, finish reading that. But we all with open face. We all with open face. Beholding as in a glass. Beholding as in a glass. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Are changed. Are changed. Into the same image. Into the same image. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. The glory of the latter house. In this last hour. It's going to be greater than the former house. Moses had the glory of the former house. And they put a veil on his face. Jesus brought to us the glory of the latter house. Where, you know, his face shone like the sun. Y'all with me? Amen. Will that light only grow according to our dedication? It'll only grow according to our prayer life. It'll only grow according to how we sanctify ourselves and let that word increase in us and begin to grow in us. And that light will begin to become brighter, brighter. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read that John 3 and 30 right quickly. John 3 and verse 30. He must increase. He must. See that light that I'm talking to you about. He must increase. Uh huh. But I must decrease. But I must decrease. Ain't that something? Yeah. Let's go to Acts chapter 9 and verse 1. Acts chapter 9 and verse 1. Start reading that one. Uh, 
and Saul yet breathing out threatenings. Go ahead. And slaughter against the disciples of the Lord. Saul breathing out threatenings. Go ahead. Went unto the high priest. Went to the high priest. And desired of him letters. Desired letters. To the master. To the master. To the synagogues. To the synagogues. And if he found any of this way. Found any of them speaking in tongues. Whether they were men or women. Men or women. He might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. Arrest them. Tie them up. Gag them. Bring them bound into Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near. And as he journeyed, he came near. The masters. The masters. And suddenly there shined round about him. Suddenly there shined round about him. A light from heaven. A light from heaven. And he fell to the earth. Fell to the earth. And heard a voice saying. Heard a voice. Go ahead. Saul, Saul. Uh-huh. Why persecutest thou me? Yes. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Yes. Whom thou persecutest. Uh -huh. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Hard to kick against the pricks. And he trembling. Trembling. And astonished. Astonished. Saying, Lord. Lord. What would thou have me to do? Light my candle. <laughs> Give me this revelation. Give me this spirit. Give me this understanding. Light my candle. Go ahead on. And the Lord said unto him. The Lord said unto him. Arise. Rise up. Go into the city. Go into the city. And it shall be told thee. Read. What thou must do. Read on. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing the voice, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth. And when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. My God. And he was three days without sight. Yes. And neither did eat nor drink. Uh -huh. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. Uh -huh. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the street, which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul. Go find Saul. A Tarsus. A Tarsus. For behold, he prayed. Yes. And he seen in a vision. He's praying for 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 the light and for his for his spirit for his candle to be lit. Pray, light my candle. Go ahead. And has seen in the vision. Seen in the vision. A man named Ananias. A man named Ananias coming in. Uh huh. And putting his hands on him that he might receive his sight. Yes. And Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he had done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he had authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way. Go thy way. For he is a chosen vessel unto me. Yes. To bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Uh -huh. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and put his hands on him. Put his hands on him. Here come that. Better light that candle, man. And said, Brother Saul. Brother Saul. The Lord, even Jesus. Yes. That appeared unto thee in the way as thou camest, has sent me that thou mightest receive thy sight. I believe Jesus lit that candle when he knocked him off of that high horse. Amen. Go ahead. And filled with the Holy Ghost. Laid his, laid his hands on him. Now he's what? Filled him with the Holy Ghost. And he would come filled with the Holy Ghost. That light. Go ahead. And immediately there fell from his eyes. Immediately. Go ahead. As it had been scales. And he received sight forthwith. And arose and was baptized. Received sight. Rose and was baptized. And when he had received meat. Uh -huh. He was strengthened. Yes. Then was Saul certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus. Uh -huh. And straightway he preached Christ. Look at that. Straightway. He preached Christ. The, the candle has been lit. Straightway. He preached Jesus now. Go ahead. In the synagogue that he is the son of God. In the, go ahead. But all that heard him were amazed. Uh -huh. And said, is not, is not this he that destroyed them which called on this name in Jerusalem? Yes. And came hither for that intent that he might bring them bound unto the chief priest. Uh huh. But Saul increased the more in strength. Look at that. Go ahead, read and, on. And confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus, proving that this is very Christ. This is the Christ. See that light. 
has now been lit inside of Saul. And he's beginning to see a truth now that he persecuted, that he had a man put to death over. Now the candlestick in him has been lit. Go ahead. And after that many days were fulfilled, the Jews took counsel to kill him. Uh -huh. But their land awake was known of Saul, and they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Look at that. They're trying their best to put this right out now. Then the disciples took him by the night and let him down by the wall in the basket. Okay. Now let's read over here in Galatians 1 and verse 11. Look at that. How God lit that. Y'all, can y'all remember when God lit your candle? Y'all remember when your eyes become open? Do you remember when you went through a change? If you don't, then you need to go back to the altar until you can get reborn again. I remember when the scales come off of my eyes. I remember when God transformed me. I remember when I become a new creature. I remember when everything become brand new. I remember. I know that light. I know the day that it happened. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Let's read Galatians 1 and verse 11 through 16. But I certify you, brethren. I certify you, brethren. That the gospel which is preached of me is... Paul, then now, look at this light inside of Paul. is now beginning to expand. Read it. This priest of me is not after men. Where I preached, it didn't come from man. Well, I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it. I didn't get it from man, neither was I taught but it. By the revelation of Jesus Christ. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost is the revealer of Christ. The Holy Ghost is the one that lit his candle. The Holy Ghost is the one that opened up his understanding, that gave him this revelation. I did not get this from man, but I got it. From God. Yes. And you have heard of my conversation in time past. You've heard of my conversation, yes. In the Jew religion, how they beyond measure, I persecuted the church of God. Uh-huh. And wasted it. And prophet the Jews religion above me were equal in my whole nation. Yes. And more exceeding zealous of the traditions of my fathers. But when it, it pleased God. When it said, pleased God. Separated me from my mother's womb. Separated me from my mother's womb. Calling me by his grace. Calling me by his grace. To reveal his son in me. To reveal, to reveal his son in me. That's when that, that candle was lit. The light of the revelation of the knowledge of Jesus Christ was revealed inside of Paul. That I might preach him among the heathens. That I might preach him among the heathens. Immediately I conferred not with the flesh and blood. Immediately I didn't go around to Ramah. I didn't go to OIU. I conferred not with flesh and blood. Neither went out uh, to Jerusalem. Uh huh. To them which was apostles before me. Yes. But I went unto Arabia. Uh huh. And returned again to Damascus. Yes. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem. What to verse Peter. is that? Chapter verse 18. Okay. We'll stop right there. Can I, can I read one more? Amen. Let's go to Acts chapter 26. Start at verse 12. Acts 26 and start at verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Read that one right quick. Whereupon as I went to the masters. Listen. Whereupon as I went to the masters. With authority. With authority. And commission from the chief priest. Commission from the chief priest. At midday, O king. At midday, O king. At noon, high noon. I saw in the way a light from heaven. I saw in the way a light from heaven. Above the brightness of the sun. Above the brightness of the sun. Shining round about me. Shining round about me. And then was journey with me. Then was journey with me. And when we all were falling to the earth. Yes. I heard a voice speaking unto me. Uh huh. And saying in the Hebrew tongue. Yes. Saul, Saul. Saul, why Saul. Why thou me? Why are you persecuting me? It is hard for me to kick against the prick. It's hard for me to kick. Hard to kick against the prick. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus. Like my camera. Who are you? I'm Jesus. Whom thou persecute. Whom you persecute. But rise. But rise. I stand upon thy feet. Stand on your feet. For I have appeared unto thee. I have appeared unto for you. For this purpose. For this purpose. To make thee a minister. To make you a minister. And a witness. And a, to appear. To make. I appear to light your candle, to make your witness, 
to make you a minister, to make you one of them that I'm going to use in these last days. Go ahead. Both of these things which thou hast seen. Both of what you have seen. And of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. And those things that you're going to have revelation of in the future. Delivering thee from the people. Delivering you from the people. And from the Gentiles. And from the Gentiles. Unto whom now I send thee. Unto whom now I'm sending you back. To open their eyes. To open their eyes. To turn See, them from the them. light of the candle. The revelation. Your, your light has been lit. Your spirit has been lit. Now, you are to take this revelation. You are to take this light to them that are in darkness. You are the persecutor. But I came not go off of that horse and lit your candle. Now, you ought to go out there and light the other candle with this revelation, with this truth, with this knowledge. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To open their eyes. To open their eyes. And to turn them from the dark. world is blind. The God of this world has got them blinded. Religions are blinded. Preachers are blinded. But the light, the candle, need to be lit with this light from heaven. Go ahead. To turn them from darkness. To turn them from darkness. To light. To light. And from the power of Satan. Turn them from darkness to, to light. To turn from darkness to light. To turn men from darkness to light. Men are out there. They're in darkness. Jesus. Go ahead. And from the power of Satan. From the powers of Satan. Unto God. Drugs. Addiction. Yes. Perversion. Yes. Violence. Yes. Unclean and turn them from the powers of the devil. Yes. Uh huh. That they may receive forgiveness. To turn them from darkness. Yes. To what? To light. To light. Go ahead. And from the power of Satan. From the powers, from the sicknesses, from the diseases, yes. from the bondages, yes. from the addictions, yes. from the fear, from the evil of Satan. Only with this light can man be turned from darkness, from the powers of darkness. The powers of darkness need to be broken. Of oh, this generation. Yes, Jesus. Go ahead. From the power of Satan to God. From the powers of Satan. The powers of Satan has got this generation bound to God. Uh -huh. That they may receive forgiveness of sin. That they might receive forgiveness of sin. And inheritance. And inheritance. Among them which are sanctified. Among them which are what? Sanctified. Sanctified. Set apart yeah. from sin. Set apart from the lust of the flesh. From the lust of the eyes. Yeah. From the pride of life. Thank God. That's what the grace of God does. It sanctifies you. Yeah. It sets you yes. apart. It don't go around and give you a license to see it. It don't give you a license to look like the world. To dress like the world. To act like the world. But the grace of God comes to transform us. Come on, talk to him for a few minutes. 
Thank you. 